In this video, you'll learn how to use the website builder in Beehive, which allows you to customize practically every aspect of your Beehive website. For more in-depth tutorials on specific use cases, you can check out the playlist on our YouTube channel. To access the website builder, log into your Beehive account, and it should be visible on the left-hand side of your screen. Here, you can customize how your Beehive website's homepage, signup page, and upgrade page will look like. Simply click on the drop-down menu at the top of your screen, and you'll be able to choose which page you want to customize at a given time. You can also change the meta details of the page you're currently customizing by clicking on the settings icon on the right hand side. To make it easy for you to design your website, the website builder is broken up into three different sections, styles, layout, and settings. The styles tab is where you can set default values and styles that will be reflected across your website. This includes things like your logo, fonts, colors, and the border radius of components. Here, you can also customize the layout and look of global components like your footer, navigation bar, subscribe widget, and more, which appear on every page of your website. You can click into the different options to select the default colors, font family, and more. Setting these global styles is a quick and easy way to get your website to reflect your brand identity in just a couple of minutes. If you're looking for some inspiration, you can toggle on example site in the top right, and I'll show you an example of a complete website built using the website builder. If you want to customize your website even more and in great detail, you can go to the layout tab. Here you can expand upon the default options you set in the styles tab, and you can customize how each specific component and section appears on your website. For example, in the styles tab, you can set the colors and fonts of your navigation bar but in the layout tab, you can actually add pages to this navigation bar. You can also customize how your website's hero section, post section, side widget section, and archive section appear, and what's visible inside them. While you're in this tab, you can also override any default colors and font families that you previously set. If you made a color change that you don't want anymore, you can reset this easily by clicking on the reset icon next to the color picker. Lastly, we have the settings tab, which allows you to configure your website settings in one central place. Here you can customize things like your website's security settings, configure tracking pixels, and enable or disable specific features. Here you can also reset your theme back to the default settings by clicking on theme reset. While designing your website, you can click on the phone and desktop icons to see what your website will look like on both desktop and mobile devices. And when you're done, you can click on preview to see what your website looks like outside of the web builder. Once you're ready to publish the changes you made, hit publish in the top right corner and click on your logo next to the address bar to see the published site. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you can check out the playlist on our YouTube channel for tutorials on specific use cases you may be interested in.